Felix and Sam are my cats. Uh, these, yeah, these. This, this, these, many, yeah. These are my purses. Maybe we have three purses that we're trying to sell, right? These are my my, they belong to me, my purses. Uh, those, those are his apples. Yeah. Those are his apples. He has many apples. Those are his apples. Uh, and they are my students. They are my students. So we use the verb is singular one, and then we use are for um, more than one, many things. Uh, and then we use the possessive adjective, my, his, uh, what other ones are there? What other possessive adjectives can we use? Say, uh, Felix is his cat. Felix, it, or Felix is his cat. Maybe um, my brother. Yeah, Felix is his cat. Yeah, Felix is his cat. Uh, this is our purse. Maybe we share it, our, you and me, our. This is our purse. It belongs to us. Possessive adjective, okay? This is our purse. Uh, that is uh, your food. That's another possessive adjective, your. That is your food. Yeah, that is your food. Uh, she is uh, her student. Yeah. She is her student. So you can use, again, these examples to create many sentences using the verb is or are, is one, are many, uh, and the possessive adjective. My, your, his, her, our, uh, we have there as well, right? There, many people, like them. Um, so we could say, those are their apples. Those are their apples, okay? So try to practice creating uh, sentences using the same structure, okay? Let's continue on. Okay, so we just reviewed possessive adjectives. There's another way, another way uh, to talk about what is, what, what belongs to me, or what belongs to you, or what belongs to her. We can use the apostrophe with S, yeah? The apostrophe with S. Here's an example. Lizzie's mother. Lizzie's mother. Ginger is my parent's cat. Ginger is my parent's cat. So let's practice some of these, okay? Let's practice. Lizzie's mother. Lizzie's mother. 
Lizzie. Maybe she's a, she's a student, Lizzie, and her mother. Yeah. So we say Lizzie's mother. Lizzie's mother. Uh, it's the same as saying uh, that, that is uh, Lizzie's, well, if, if Lizzie, if Lizzie is speaking, yeah, so Lizzie is speaking, she, she says, uh, this is my mother. Lizzie, yeah, Lizzie, this is my mother. This is my mother, Lizzie's mother. Yeah, this is Lizzie. This is my mother. It's Lizzie's mother. It belongs to her. It belongs to her. Yeah. Um, this is, yeah, this, this is Carmen's phone. This, this is Carmen's, Carmen's phone. It belongs to me. If Carmen was speaking, I say, this is my phone. This is my phone, Carmen's phone. Maybe somebody says, uh, don't eat Robert's apple. Don't eat Robert's apple. Robert's apple. This shows the apostrophe as Robert's. It shows that that apple is for Robert. So don't eat it. Robert's apple. Robert's apple. Uh, we can also say, uh, this is Linda and Stacy's uh, book shelf. This is Linda and Stacy's bookshelf. So it it's only apostrophe S on the second name, not both, but it means it belongs to both of them. Linda and Stacy's uh, bookshelf. Uh, maybe they have many books and they have a, a shelf to put them on. Yeah, a bookshelf. This is Linda and Stacy's bookshelf. Uh, that, yeah, that is Ron's car. That is Ron's car. Uh, maybe we can say that is Ron's red car. Uh, so there's many different ways you can create these sentences. Try to try to make some as well. Try to practice again using the apostrophe s, something that belongs to somebody else. Yeah. This is Carmen's phone. This is Ron's car. Uh, this is Robert's Apple, okay? Uh, and